Hi people, in this tutorial I'm going to show you some of the most common issues that usually happen to beginners in AutoCAD, so let's check them out. I cannot trim some sections of lines. One common issue that beginners may have is when using the common trim to take out some sections of lines. Sometimes we want to delete a specific section but it doesn't work, like this one. Then I click again and it still doesn't cut and sometimes it gets a bit frustrating. And the thing is that this simply happened because after trimming this part of the line, that line remains only this and we cannot use the common trim to delete entire lines. So just press escape, select the line and press delete. Sometimes the things are too simple that we don't get it that first time. I insert an external image, but the dimensions are not correct. To insert an external image, I will click in the tab Insert and then in this icon Attach. Now I select the image that I want, this one, now I click in OK. After I click again where I want to have the image and the scale factor. It doesn't matter for now, so I press enter. So, for most of the cases, the image won't be with the correct dimensions, which means that I have to scale it. I'm going to activate the command scale by typing SC. I select the image and press enter. I will specify a base point, for example this one, and then I will use a reference. I type R, and because I know this distance is 2 km, I will choose these two points and specify the new length between them. I will click first, more or less in the middle, here. Of course, this is not extremely precise, but it should be enough for most of the cases. After I click in the second point and enter the new distance. It's 2 kilometers, so I will type 2000, as I consider I'm working in meters. So here you have scaled properly. I will use the command distance, I type TI, to check that this distance here is now 2000. Then I can measure everything I want. For example, the distance between here till this side of the island is a bit less of 5 kilometers. How to offset a close boundary with only one click, like it happens here. A lot of beginner users have this issue. We activate the command offset then I try to select all my objects, but I can't, it's not working. And I can only do for each line independently. Basically, what I need is to convert my lines to a single polyline, and I will do it with a command join. I activate the command, I select all my lines, then I press enter, and now I convert this to a polyline. So, now if I activate the command offset again, I can finally offset all in one simple click. Here you have Selection Cycling. Sometimes it happens that we have objects overlapped, like we can see now in this drawing. For example, if I want to select the line that is in this side, I try to click on it, but instead it keeps selecting the door. Now, if you look at the button, there is an icon here that can help us with this. It's the selection cycling. I'm going to activate it, and then if I try again to select the line, this window appears here, showing the objects that are overlapped, the block, which is the door, and the line. 
so just click online to select it. Now I'm going to show you an issue that happened to me and I believe also to a lot of people. If I go to the layer properties and I want to change the line weight for one of the layers, this one for example. Now I will change it for a thicker one, this one, click in OK and if I look to the stairs it looks like that the lines didn't change. And this happened because AutoCAD by default shows all the lines with the same weight in the model space. But if I want to print the drawing, they will appear exactly as I specify. However, if I want to see the line weights in my model space, just click in this icon there. Ok, so it was everything in this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Cutting Black to watch all the list of tutorials of AutoCAD. Also, if you need extra help, I can give online private lessons for beginners. Just send me an email and I will provide you all the details. Thank you and hope to see you next time!